Severe dust storm behind cover. Windy, not windy. Very windy, not windy. Clear conditions, still windy. But I made myself this little habitat just with cloth and I made an airlock and I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a modular base instead of doing just one big base. Since I have these buildings separate, I'm gonna do like that. And I already enclosed this thing and I got the resources. So let's just do the fabricator. There you go. And the fabricator is great because now I'm going to be able to do batteries, circuit boards without being made from scrap. I'm going to be able to do this. For this, I'm not going to need to go to Lotari. And there's a few upgrades too. I believe you can only do one of them. For this, I need to go to Lotari to get zirconium. And I could do this one, but I don't think I'm going to do it. This is going to be for the advanced fabricator. I've been collecting some more things. I also did the printer, which you need the solar panel, which is right there. And the, the printer allows you to do also wires, uh, medical bandages, and there's also upgrades for it. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So I need a circuit board, gunmetal, and a battery. But also... I think I'm gonna try to build at least one of these biodomes. I think these are biodomes. Number one. This is a ruined biodome. I'm gonna turn this into a real biodome and start planting some crops. And after that, I'm gonna try to keep progressing as I can. I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm gonna be able to do, but the goal, of course, is to get the laboratory and the space station. But for now, let's just start building the biodome and see where we go from there. Welcome to Osiris and Dawn. So I got this fella doing a visit here. Let's just deal with them. Sorry, dude. That's just a scratch in the tummy. And in the balls, too. It's, it will be fine. Just in a second. There you go. Big Colossus down. So, to this, to build a biodome is pretty cheap. You just need aluminum, glass, uh, durlamnum, and a few other things. So let's just start putting in what I got so far. I believe I got, yeah, I got the parts for this. There you go, this part is done. Here, just aluminum and glass. Nice. And aluminum is pretty easy to get by because also the scrap metal, you can turn it into aluminum. I didn't check that top part, which would be, I think it's Zamak and rubber. Yeah, Zamak and rubber. And this requires, I believe. Uh, oh, I have to go outside. So let's just get the Zamak. Maybe. <laughs> kind of an awkward position. Yeah, no, this is Magnalium. This is Zamak. Okay. So let's go outside and let's see what this needs. Lithium circuit board and hoses. Okay. I think I might have it. Let's just check the circuit boards. Uh, I got broken ones, and I got the wire, so I believe I can make some new ones. There it is. I can only make one though. I already got the four hoses, and I need the lithium. So I make this storage here. Here I got the old stuff, and here I got the new metals. Here, I mean. There you go. Like the mercury, the cobalt, all that good stuff. So, I don't think I have enough circuit boards. Oh, I do. Nice. So this part is done. Let's just finish the inside. And let's see what it takes to make the, the bins. Because that's what I need to put to be able to plant on the crops. There you go. So everything is done. I'm going to dismantle these things. But for now, let's just see the bins. Rikaya's owned biodome. Oh, I, I guess I have to close it off with uh, another airlock. And I think I'm gonna put it. Why not? Structures. Airlock. So, I just need plastic, steel, and computer screens. For the computer screens, there's a couple options. So, I can uh, use the broken computer screens. This also takes glass in one circuit board. Or I can use the printer. 
and do also with one circuit board Electrum and glass. So I think since both take one circuit board I prefer to do it here because it only takes broken computer streams and not Electrum. So I'm gonna need more circuit boards. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna park everything and I'm gonna go to a nice place to find some satellites because uh, they spawn all around the map but they also spawn in the desert and that's where I'm gonna go because they are much easier to spot and they, 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 the desert is very easy to transverse so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hunt down circuit boards wires and all the good stuff that satellites can can give but before I leave these boxes on the destroyed things respawn so I actually found a boat rifle in it and some ammo but unfortunately the bolt rifle used to be pretty cool. It does a lot of damage still, as it did before. You could just repair it without nothing. But the thing is, and let's see if I can find a body around here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of one particular aspect of the bolt rifle, which hopefully I'll find an enemy right here to be able to exemplify. And uh, that's just a subjective thing. I just don't like it, maybe some people love it, I don't know, but I'll, I'll let you figure out what it is. A lot of damage, but did you hear the sound? Maybe you didn't even hear it. That's it. That's a very wimpy sound. I don't know what they did. The, 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 the bolt rifle used to sound like a bolt rifle, you know, powerful and shit. Now it sounds like this. Like a... Uh, a very wimpy space space uh, uh, ship. a very wimpy space weapon i don't know i'm not a big fan the only one that still sounds the same is pretty much the pistol which always sounds wimpy but it's a pistol that's fine it's not supposed to be very powerful and the assault rifle sounds pretty good there's also a heavy assault rifle and unfortunately it uh, suffers from the fame from the same affliction as the bolt rifle which is a very wimpy sound i don't know why they changed it but uh, again that's just a subjective matter i just don't like it so i'm not going to use this uh, uh, bolt rifle very much just for the simple reason that the sound is terrible <laughs> but there you go i'm gonna collect these dudes and let's go to the desert okay buddies you want to tangle let's tangle it's the night gang with my few few Oh, and I'm out of few fuels. So let's let's melee, like like big men. Let's do it. A man against shoulder guys. That's the night gang. Everybody should make a song for these dudes. Oh, nice. That was a good. I'm also dead. Almost dead. <laughs> They're no joke. These dudes are a lot of damage, actually. Yep. And even the small guy. Got them. Got them small guys, man. Got a lot of shoulders. You gotta collect everything. Here we are, in the desert. And uh, I also see a green thing over there. Could be plutonium. Uh, but now, I'm just gonna cruise around. Because it's very easy to spot the satellites around here. And those satellites are really nice. And I think there's a satellite over there already. Let's grab it. And it is plutonium. Because from afar, I think you can also find uranium around here. But there's a good chance that these things might be plutonium. And of course you can craft it from uranium and other things. And uh, it's going to be useful for the for the space station, I believe. I don't remember what else. But it's definitely also good to grab it from here. It's already made. And there you go. What I was looking for. Broken down circuit boards. And uh, some barrels. That's really nice. Of course, I also already got the fabricator and I can make them. But if I can get myself some broken ones, that's going to be a great help. This way I don't have to waste all the resources just making circuit boards and wires. That's why I like to come and collect these things. And, uh, you know, also an opportunity to show in the early game where you can find more of those broken things. So I'm just going to keep going. And see if I can find some more. And for some reason, I parked the truck over there and I got teleported like 200 meters away. Luckily, the road was still there. <laughs> but I already got 
few things. I only found two so far. I haven't gone too far. But I think I'm just going to collect this one and uh, see if I can find one or two more. And then I'm going to go back to base and actually show other ways we can do the wires and the circuit boards using the fabricator and possibly even the, the printer. But there you go. I'm getting some stuff. Just gotta find the right spot. It's a little bit janky, but uh, seems that pointing at the edge of the thing and uh, finding the right spot for it seems to be the way that it works a little bit better. There you go. I got another one. Let's just go, I don't know, circle around a little bit more and see if I can find a couple more. Man, that's some big ass skeleton. There used to be these big worms in this game. They would come out of the ground and try to eat you whole, and now this is all that's left of them. I don't know what happened, but there doesn't seem to be nothing else uh, on this skeleton. It's, I think it's just decoration. I've been looking for it here. Yeah, but they used to be really large, really sweet. So now, I collected a few more. I think it's time to go back to base. Now, it could do, be a little bit tricky <laughs> to find a nice way to climb this thing because most of the, the map all around is kind of made of hills and big cliffs and it can be kind of tricky to find a way in. So I think I'm going to go in this direction and see if I can find an entrance over there. In the desert, you can also find some sulfur. And uh, enemies do spawn here. But unfortunately, this one is very dehydrated, so we decided to hibernate right here. He, he, he thought, oh, I wasn't supposed to be in the desert. I went out to look for water. I didn't find it. So now I'm just going to stay here until help comes. So I think I'm just going to help him out, put him over his misery. Because he's very dehydrated. Poor thing. This seems climbable. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Goddamn right. Nicely done. And I came in in the aluminum area. That's pretty sweet. So, I forgot to bring barrels. That would be nice to bring them to also start collecting some hydrogen and nitrogen because the gas is pretty low. Getting low on this on this rover. But uh, yeah, there's the zinc area. And let's see these boxes. Let's see if something really loaded here. Respond here, I mean. I already loaded this stuff. So, let's see. Oh yeah, some nice stuff. Look at that. Pretty sweet. And from the desert run, I actually found quite a bit. 32 broken wires, 16 broken circuit boards. That was nice. And uh, it definitely helps, you know. Uh, oh, another five. That's definitely a good place to come to. These, these broken down habitations, they seem to have quite nice resources. As I mentioned before, you can do the circuit boards here in the fabricator, but it takes power cells, dim alloy and electrum. Electrum takes copper, silver, gold and molybdenum. Dim alloy takes silver and copper and power cells take lithium and silver. So as you can see, even though it can be easier to do the circuit boards on the, on the fabricator itself, it also takes a lot of resources. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, uh, choosing which one you prefer. Also here you can do the wires, the copper, gold and rubber. So, you know, that's why I kind of prefer to gather everything I can. All the broken one things and stuff because it can be quite tricky to be able to do it all. So, I'm gonna try to... I got some scrap plastics, nice. So, I got some alien meat, pretty cool gonna just park everything and uh, see if I can finish off the, the, the biodome. So apparently the problem finishing the biodome wasn't the lack of airlock, was just the boxes. So I just dismantled the boxes and the biodome turned itself on. So now I'm just gonna do the smart bins take power cells and circuit boards. So I think I'm just gonna do the normal bins. I'm just gonna place it like there. I think it's uh, uh, cheaper and uh, and uh, they work just fine, so there's no point wasting uh, better resources on anything else. So let's just to put four for now, 
and uh, of course now I'm at a stage where I got plenty of food I don't really need mu much of this but you know if you go to Lutari or if you're starting out this is a good idea to start especially for the berries and stuff to, to be able to do the, the bad chip tape this thing to be able to do juice that you can also do I believe it's in the must be in the kitchen uh, yeah, you can do some juice that gives you nice hydration. And I would like to have an entrance here. Before I couldn't really place it. But now I think I should. Yeah, now it connects. So let's put an airlock here. Just an easy access to be able to enter. And it kind of makes a nice hole here. I got the access to both things. Let's see if I have enough. Oh, I need Durlamnum. So let's see if I have enough Durlamnum. To complete that thing. Cast iron, do love them. There you go. I've been cranking up a few things. I'm doing a lot of magnalium because this is going to be required for the space station too. I'm doing a lot of power cells because batteries and stuff and all other things require some power cells. And since I have a good stack, I just decided to do a lot of it, you know. This way, next time I need it, I know I got it. And uh, of course, uh, it required some grinding. But let's just close this thing out. And of course it takes some time to open up the airlock to pressurize it, but it's just easier to just follow the ramp instead of having to try to jump and hit the hole to go into the biodome. It can be a little frustrating, <laughs> so I prefer to use the normal things. Is this done? Yeah, it seems to be. So now it's pressurized. Nice. And I forgot the soil and the things, so I believe I got enough right here. 86 soil, yeah, I, I believe it's enough. Let's just bring berries because I would like to do the juice. I'm gonna bring this thing. I'm gonna try if we can, if I can place it, if I can grow those uh, fruits. I don't know. I don't think so, but you never know. So first of all, let's just fill this up with dirt. F, G, and B. There you go. And now, let's start doing, let's go F, potato, berry, apple, carrot, red berry. Yeah, let's put red berries here. G, red berries, and B, red berries. Uh, I think I'm going to do one of each, why not? So here, let's go uh, T with a berry. I think I only got one, yeah, so let's leave it like that. Here, let's go F, let's put uh, potato. G, another G, another G, B, and G. There you go. And here, let's go with carrots. B, G, B, B, B. <laughs> there you go. In a little while, you, you just come over to it, you click on the respective letter, and it should give you some resources back. The carrots and potatoes are really nice to make stews, because stews fill you up very nicely and give you health back. So that's a good source of food. So, I'm just gonna break, put everything away. The food stays right here. Apparently, the, this, this 500 foot cannot go in there. And I got a lot of points, so let's see where I can put them. F6. So, here I already got the, the water thing. I'm not very much concerned about anything else in terms of science. So, I think I'm just gonna buy it all to say that I got it. In combat, I got 83, so gun durability projectile damage let's go for gun durability and weapon durability and do I have more okay only one left here craft faster that's nice craft a higher health increase hover boot I do like to have a good boot repair at higher durability doesn't seem to have any effects loot amount yeah buy it all there you go, engineering and science, I'm fully upgraded. Only thing that's left is the combat, which is funny because I started as a ranger and you start with more combat points than anything else. So, I got these things rolling, I got the magnalium and stuff. What would be nice now would be to go for the laboratory. So, I got my habitat, I got my pe solar panel. But I also require barracks and a satellite dish. So let's see what it takes for barracks. I just need talonite, gunmetal, 
it's a lot of stuff i think i'm gonna go by two at a time telenite and gunmetal let's let's craft it i believe i got the telenite already uh it's a blue thing is this one yeah telenite gunmetal i got two i don't know if it's enough let's see uh no i need another gunmetal so for the gunmetal it's bronze i need bronze for the bronze copper tin and magnesium let's bring it copper magnesium and tin should be the no it's this thing there you go let's make a bunch of it like uh 36 yeah that should be pretty good so i needed bronze and what else copper tin and zinc so i need another stack of copper and i'm getting down on copper so i better go grab some more later zinc you see this thing the colors are very similar silver molybdenum chromium they're very similar i wish you had a, a, a little bit more of a, of a distinguishable color so let's just take it all and what else do i need titanium cobalt and lead i should have everything out everything here titanium lead and the blue thing cobalt so is it enough yes it is so where would be a good place for the barracks as i mentioned before i'm gonna do this like a a, a modular base so i believe this is a habitat yeah this is a habitat and this is a, another biodome so i think i could put later an entrance on this side and i could just connect the barracks right here so let's see if i can connect the barracks to a destroyed habitation that would be kind of nice no yeah i have to build the habitation first apparently because this way it doesn't detect it and i would like to connect it here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna collect a bunch of uh cloth that i believe i should have around here you just plant fiber yeah i'm just gonna grab all of this plant fiber i'm getting a little bit full that's fine and i'm gonna enclose this habitation with all cloth and uh, i already know that i have to dismantle these boxes otherwise it would not complete the habitation that's what happened on the biodome at least and now i'm just gonna go here and oh yeah i have to begin repairs i have to repair these things first oh yeah i need zamak Zama it's just zamak and aluminum pretty cool and then i can do another biodome or i can just build the biodome up and then dismantle it and uh, i don't think it will give me all the resources back but at least i can remove that thing from there but unfortunately i believe i have to build it first so let's just get the zamak first all the pillars are in so now i'm just gonna use cloth for the same reason because normal walls take wires this takes rubber a coupler is 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 hard enough to do i just need to grab some cobalt i think i'm gonna put a coupler on this side to make an entrance and uh, so i'm not gonna bother i'm just gonna do cloth walls they work just fine Starvation. now the enemies don't don't glitch into the base anymore like they did before so it should be fine i never seen them damage the base so i'm just gonna have to do a bunch of makeshift cloths and after that let's just enclose this even the ceiling is gonna be cloth fortunately i got an invasion here i'm gonna have to deal with it let's go like in the old days sword against spider there you go it's not even a spider it's a crab but i'm almost dead god damn it when they do damage they don't joke around there you go keep hitting it i'm surprised it's taking so long the knife is almost full durability and it took a while i'm i was a little bit surprised this must be a tough one there used to be different tiers of these dudes and the, the higher tiers were much harder to kill maybe that's the same it just doesn't say it just doesn't say maybe this is like a, tier, a higher tier or, or maybe not maybe because i believe the critical hit is still a thing so sometimes you just get a few critical hits and you kill them really fast other times you don't get them and it takes longer but i do enjoy it i i like the fact that there are a lot of enemies and they're pretty easy to kill i prefer it like that i don't like spongy enemies you know another another just subjective thing that's just something i like other people might enjoy harder enemies 
I, I, I really don't. So, yeah, I'm just gonna grab the cobalt because I'm gonna need two, two couplers apparently. Uh, one for the entrance and another one to connect to this biodome because I would like to. I think I'm gonna keep it right here. I probably gonna place the water reclaimer, the oxygenator, all the good stuff, and also another fabricator. But this one, I'm gonna do the suit upgrade thing, and on that one, I'm gonna place the advanced fabricator. So let's see if I can do a coupler here. I believe I have to put a coupler to connect this thing. Yeah, to connect to the biodome, I think that's required. So here, I think, right, uh, you know, let's see, because that hallway is kind of in the way, but I think I can build it up and remove it. So I think I'm going to put the couple right here because I, I think the, the airlock might go almost to the thing. So let me just finish up this and uh, see if I can actually place down the barracks. Habitation closed off. So now I should be able to put down the barracks right here. Let's see. Let's see if I have it all. Structures, barracks, or oh, I dropped the titanium and the lead. I forgot I was encumbered, so I had to park a few things. So let's just grab a little bit. 15 should be enough. Let's split it. Nice, and I got a lot of meat on me. Jesus. Uh, the crab meat should be useful to do some recipes later on when I got the kitchen going. Uh, four, I don't think it's enough, or is it? Is it four or, or three? Oh, it's actually three. I got mozamak here. Nice. So, yeah, let's put the barracks down here. And I'm also gonna need the large satellite dish. It's barracks, so nice. Connects right there. Nicely done. And uh, I believe I don't have to build it to to make it count in, in terms... Yeah, there you see. Barracks is already green. So, I'm gonna save myself some resources and just gonna go for the satellite dish for now. So what do I need? I need a battery, the Molloy and Gal 4. So that's a good reason why I have already the fabricator. Because in the fabricator that's where you can do the batteries. So let me just check what I need because I do have the power cells. And I can do them already. So how many was it? Just one battery. Yeah, I'm just gonna do one. Because it does use uh, plastic and electrum too. So, I also need it. Gal 4. I call it Gal 4, but it's actually 6 all. <laughs> uh, Gal 4 and Dimaloy. I should have. Maybe I have this already. Let's see. I got an alloy box right there. Actually, got two. So, bronze, Gal 4, and the Dimaloy. Ferrochrome. No, apparently, I don't have Dimaloy. Silver and copper. Yeah, the copper is very used up, so I'm gonna have to refill my, my copper stash. Silver and copper, so let's do a bunch of demoloi. Uh, not 60, uh, let's just do like uh, 14 or something. Let's put the copper back, I don't think I'm gonna need the tight. Uh, let me check. <laughs> yeah, I need the cobalt and nothing else cobalt and nothing else so I think I can put down the silver and everything else like the lead the titanium I'm gonna keep the iron and the aluminum with me because they seem to be important for a few things so I'm just gonna keep it so I was gonna do the satellite dish where would it be a good place I think kind of like here on top of the mountain hopefully it'll be close enough and uh, it would be nice to, to be able to place it. Yeah, there you go. On top of the mountain. And it's uh, floating. How good is that? And I believe I can dismantle it now. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's redo it. I think I get everything back. Gulf 4. Yeah, I don't think I got everything back. Only one Gulf 4. No, I did have everything back. It was just one. Surprised. I thought it was more. 
I think I'm gonna try to place it on a better spot, like the big the big thing pointing this way. How about that? Yeah, let's put it over there. It was a little bit, it's got, still gonna be a little bit hanging, but it's much better. I can just put a box over there and pretend like it's hanging on the box. So now I should be able to do the, the barracks. So what it takes, just ferrochrome and a diamond, which luckily I believe I have from my last run to the better mine or the mine to entrance, which is just right here. So let's see where the damn diamond is. Damn diamond. There it is. And ferrochrome? Ferrochrome. Is it enough? Structures. Yes, it is. Definitely. So let's see what will be a good spot for the, for the laboratory, because I'm gonna spawn the vehicles in front of it, so I'm gonna want some room to maneuver. And I think over there should be kind of an okay spot. Well, over there wouldn't be too bad neither. Yeah, I kind of like it on a higher spot next to this. Yeah, would it fit here? If it fits here, it's going to be pretty cool. Let's see. The problem would be the distance. Oh, but I don't think it should be a problem. No, nah, that's not a problem. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, but uh, and maybe this is not big enough. Yeah, I think this is might not be big enough because I don't want to cover this area to for, that's where I go to the mine and stuff So I think I'm just gonna put it over there on that side, but let's see That would be a little weird if it came down If it kind of deleted the rocks and stuff That would be pretty cool, but I know I think I'm gonna put it on that side. Let's just run for it just easier yeah and I can put it facing this way kind of facing the the compound yeah like that maybe like this on an angle lower it down can I yeah, maybe I'll just turn it all the way here like this and I can pass through through the sides and uh, just a matter of letting it see if it turns green yeah, I think I got enough room here. Why don't you turn green? Turn green. Green with envy. Why don't you? Come on, buddy boy. Okay, I just have to raise it a little bit. Yeah, pretty good. And the ramp goes all the way to the floor. Nice. Uh, you know... Maybe the ship is gonna spawn on top of the barracks, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. So now, I just need to close this thing out, and it takes 9CR, lead, galfour, and a lot of rubber. The thing is, I don't have that much rubber, so I'm gonna have to go around and collect methane, and hydrogen, and all that good stuff. But the laboratory is here, and for the next episode, hopefully, I'll have some vehicles to try out. I wanna try the mech, the big robot, the T-5000, I wanna try them all. But I'm probably going to go have to go to the asteroid to get a Zunium first. But a few things I should be able to do. So, for now, thank you for watching, and until next time.